So, Edmonton versus Toronto. Ha! Okay, so let's put Edmonton on the left and Toronto on the right. Okay? Um, so, um, for Edmonton, we will say that one of the very, very easy things to figure out about Edmonton advantages here is that the tax is actually low. So, um, the tax here is 5% tax and the tax here is 13% tax. So that means that I feel like when it actually sank for me that it, um, tax about the tax difference was when, um, I bought something on Amazon and it was still putting my Toronto address and my tax was like. 30 something dollars or 40 something dollars and then when i put the five percent i changed my address to edmonton on the app and then my my tax reduced to like nine dollars or something i'm like wow this place is sweet bring it on bring it on <laughs> yeah so the tax is very low compared to toronto and then also uh in toronto we have um more acts more job opportunities i would say because it's a bit it's a lot multicultural, like a lot people from everywhere. I could even say that it's the Lagos of Canada, kind of. Um, so in Toronto, I enjoyed like the different jobs, whatever job you're looking for. Is it to catch fowl? There's somewhere for that. <laughs> whatever job that you're looking for, you actually find more job opportunities because there are more companies in Toronto. Um, but in Edmonton, I would say there are lesser jobs, but the competition, um, to get a job here is actually lesser than Toronto. So by the time you open a job opening in Toronto, you actually see like maybe 5,000 applicants. By the time you open the one here, you could see like 300 or something. So I feel like the roles here are not a lot, but the competition is not so much. And also it really depends on your field because that's in um, Edmonton now, it depends on your field. Um, so you need to actually research your field and know if you there are a lot of roles for your field in Edmonton, for example. Um, I know people who um, were working security jobs in Toronto and moved to Edmonton and they were really literally no jobs. And they are like, what's going on? There's going to be like security job anywhere in Canada. So what's really happening? So you need to research your own roles and your own industry and see the job job openings that are available for you before you actually move. Another reason why we consider to move to Edmonton is because the housing price here is really low hmm. compared to Toronto. Like I said, Toronto can be referred to as the Lagos of Canada. <laughs> so in Toronto, you will see like um, you see like a three bedroom for about 3,000, maybe 3,005, because even a two bedroom is going for about 2,006, right? But here you see a whole house for 2,000 or less. Like the difference is a lot. A whole house, I mean like three bedrooms, four bedrooms for 2,000 or less. In fact, you could actually know someone that got a two bedroom here in Edmonton for 1,250. That would not even get you a one bedroom in Toronto, if, if you are being honest. It, like I lived in a one bedroom in Toronto and it was about one seven. Here, a one bedroom would be less than a thousand or at least a thousand because I know someone that got two bedroom for 1,250 here in Edmonton and the area was really good. Um, another thing that you might want to consider or that we consider is the housing price. Now to get a house in Toronto, Toronto, <laughs> to get a house in Toronto, you must really have banked it, you know, mortgage with the mortgage rates right now. And the houses are like in millions of dollars. Like I'm a small child with my small body. Where am I meant to get? It's not like it's impossible because, of course, houses here are based on mortgage. As long as you have your down payment and you're able to keep paying your mortgage. But I feel like there's no need being inconvenient. You understand? Another reason, another thing I would say that if you're trying to move um, in, like, for us, that we consider is what's the will of God for, for us? Are we meant to move? Are we meant to stay? And I feel like that's really important because it gives you peace. There's no way you actually move to that you feel like it's a hundred. But you could say that it's really good, right? For us, we thank God. But um, what keeps you going in a place where you, you 
you are not sure because of course when you are new to somewhere even when you just come to canada you feel like i'm not even meant to be here hey my energy i wasn't even paying our rent. hey what am i meant to do three months has passed i've not got a job you know those kind of things but what keeps you grounded is oh i believe that god led us to this place and the fact that oh god led us to this place let's wait it through let's see what god is about to do or let's see what god will do um and i think that that's one thing that was really important to us having that peace in um our move and let me know if you've ever considered moving to another province in canada or if you're considering what province it is in canada that you want to stay and let me know some other videos about canada or about anything that you actually want me to speak about i'll be happy to jump on in bye see you next video do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like do not forget to drop in the notification eh? press the notification bell please the lord bless you till the next video